So hi everyone. Welcome to your channel Impulse Tech. I am Yogesh. So today I come up with a very interesting project and you have seen the video of the project as well. So this project is all about to make our own Newton meter or you can say the force measuring machine. So here I am using the force sensor, OLED display and the Arduino and we are trying to calculate or measure the force applied on any body using the force sensor. So without wasting time, let's get started and build this cool project. So in this project, we need OLED display, which is of like 1306 OLED display. We need force sensor. We need 10 kilo ohm of register. We need three LEDs and we need one buzzer. So these are the components we need. And here I'll just make it 10 kilo ohm. Yeah. So now, first of all, we'll do the connection for force sensor with the Arduino. So let's see how I'm going to connect the force sensor. So in order to connect the force sensor with the Arduino, we need to create an voltage regulator across the force sensor. So let's see how I'm going to create an voltage regulator. So here I'm using the 10 kilo ohm register. So you have to use the 10 kilo ohm register, then only you will get the accurate result. Now let's take the wire. Let's connect the any terminal to the register and the next terminal should be connected to the ground. So here is the ground. So I can use any ground. Okay. Now we need one more wire from this. And now we are going to connect that wire to the analog input pin of the Arduino. So analog input pin is on the right hand side. So I'll connect the analog pin to the A0. So you can see this is how we are going to create an voltage regulator across the so force sensor doesn't have any polarity so that means you can create the voltage regulator across any terminal so now let's connect this terminal one to the plus five volt supply of the Arduino. so let's connect it to the plus five volt supply so now the force sensor is connected to the Arduino. okay now let's connect the oled display so let's connect the ground of the oled display to the ground of the Arduino. So here I am taking the ground and I will connect the ground to the ground of the Arduino. So here I can use any of the ground. Okay, so let's connect the VCC to the VCC of the Arduino. That means the plus 5 volt. And here I know that this is the plus 5 volt wire. So I can directly connect my VCC to this wire as well. If you track this wire, this wire is already connected to the plus 5 of the Arduino. Okay, now let's connect the SCL. So SCL is connected to the A, so SCL is connected to the A5 of the Arduino and this is the I2C pins of the Arduino. So let's connect to the A5 of the Arduino. So now we have connected the SCL. Now let's connect the SDA to the A4 of the Arduino. So now we have connected the OLED display to the Arduino using the I2C pins that is A4 and A5. Okay. Now as you know that in our project we are trying to turn on and off the LED based upon the force sensor values. So for that, we need to connect the LEDs. So how we are going to connect the LEDs? Let's see that. So these are the LEDs and these pins are the ground pins. So I need to make the ground pins common. So I will connect all the ground pins together. Now connect the each LED to the digital pins. That is two, three, four, five. So in my code, I have connected the buzzer to the pin number two and LED green to the pin number 3, LED yellow to the pin number 4 and LED red to the pin number 5. So the same way we will connect here as well. Okay, so now we will connect the buzzer first. So buzzer also has the positive and negative. So let's connect the ground of the buzzer to the common ground of the LED as well. So let's connect the ground of the buzzer to the ground of the Arduino. Okay, now, now we will connect the buzzer's plus pin to the digital pin 2 of the Arduino. Now the digital pin 2 of the Arduino is on the other side. So we need to transfer these connections from to the other side. It is better to turn this Arduino to this side. Then it is like really easy to connect the wires. Okay. But as of now, I will just connect the pin, buzzer pin to the pin number two of the Arduino. Yeah, it's connected. Now let's connect the green LED to the pin number three of the Arduino. Let's connect the yellow LED to the pin number four of the Arduino. So let's connect the last LED that is the red LED to the pin number 5 of the Arduino. So now you can see we have connected all the components to the Arduino. 
So this circuit diagram might look complex to you, but if you go step by step, one by one connection at a time, then you can build this project in very less time. It's very simple circuit diagram. So even if you doesn't understand anything, just let me know inside the comment section. So now we will see one of the most important part that is how to write the code for this project. So let's go on to the Arduino IDE coding. So this is the code that we need to upload to build this project. So here in the code, you will see the libraries. So wire.h library, you need to install for I2C communication. So we need I2C communication between the OLED display to the Arduino. So for that, we, you need to install the wire.h library. And, and these two libraries, that is Adafruit GFX and the Adafruit SSD1306, these libraries are mainly for using the OLED display. So in OLED display, we can able to create the graphics as well as we can able to write some things. So in order to create the graphics, you need to install the graphics library of the Adafruit OLED display. And also you need to install one more library that is SSD1306 library, which is useful for controlling the OLED display. So here we are not using the reset pin. So that's why here I have written the minus one. So this is the object that is display we have created in order to control the OLED display. Okay, now we need to define the pins that we are using. As I have already mentioned that we have connected the force sensor pin to the AO of the Arduino. So here in the circuit diagram, you can see we have used the analog zero pin to the force sensors output. So the same way we need to define here as well. Now we have connected the buzzer to the pin number two and the same way green LED, yellow LED and the red LED. So it's connected like two, three, four, five pins of the Arduino. So that's why I have defined it here. Okay, now here I have declared one global variable that is sensor value. And currently we are passing zero value. Now, so this variable is mainly used for storing the four sensors data. Now here I have created few threshold values. Now what are these threshold values? So these threshold values are useful whenever I wanted to turn on the LEDs on specific values. For example, if the pressure is very less or no pressure exerted, the value is 200. And if the pressure, if the medium pressure is applied or medium force is applied on the force sensor, then value I'm getting is 500. And if the pressure applied is too high, then the value I'm getting is 550. So these are the threshold values that I have already declared. Now we will use these values in upcoming part of the code. Let's see where we are going to use these values. Okay. Now inside the white setup, we can see we have turned on our serial monitor and also in white setup, we need to define that which pins are input pin and which pins are output pins. Okay. Now here you know that the buzzer pin is output pin, LED pin is output pin. So all the three LEDs are output pin and the buzzer is also the output pin. Okay. Now here, if you see, we have turned on our display. So here, this is the I2C address of our display that is 0x3c. So if, so this command that display.begin will initialize the display. If our display is not initialized, then it will continuously print this thing on our serial monitor that we are failed to allocate the display. Okay. Now let's enter inside the void loop. So here all our magic is happening. Now, as I mentioned earlier that I have created one variable for storing the force sensor data. So using this command that analog read force sensor pin, and we know that we have connected the force sensor pin to the analog input zero of the Arduino. So this command is useful to read the analog data. And now we are storing that data into the variable called sensor value. That's all, it's very simple. Now we wanted to write all this data to the OLED display so that we can see the data coming on the OLED display. So first of all, I'm clearing the display. If anything is anything there on the display, that will get cleared. Now I have set here the text size, which I wanted to write on the display. This is the text size one and the text color is white. And also I have set the cursor on zero comma zero. Okay. Now here I have I'm just printing one word. That's why I have written on the double quotation mark that is force. And I'm printing the sensor value directly on my display 
using this command display dot print ln. So display dot print ln command is useful for writing the data or for printing the data on your OLED display. So that's how we are printing the data on the OLED display. Now guys, here I have done one interesting thing that what I've done here, I have used like whenever I'm like whenever we are applying the pressure or force on the sensor, then I wanted to create a graph. So whenever I'm applying too much of pressure, the graph will increase. So here I have used the map function of the Arduino and I'm mapping the sensor value to the display height and I'm creating one rectangle using this command display dot fill rect. So here I am creating a rectangle of each value of the sensor. So whenever you are pressing the sensor too much, then the graph will also increase. You have seen that in my video as well. Okay. So now this is the interesting part of this project. Okay. To create the graph of the pressure. So now here comes the use of threshold value. So if the sensor value, that means the four sensor data is greater than the low threshold. And what is the value of low threshold? It's 200. So if it is less than 200, then we need to turn on the green LED. Now you can see using this command, digital write, I am turning on the green LED only. Now, and other LEDs I am turning it off. You can see now. Else if, if sensor value is less than medium threshold values. And what is the medium threshold value? It's 500. Then I am turning on the yellow LED. If it is less than the low threshold value and other two LEDs are and sorry here you can see like here I'm turning on the yellow LED and other two LEDs that is green and red are turned off. Now the same goes with the red LED. If the values are more than the this thing like you can say if the values is more than medium threshold that means more than 500 then I'm turning on the you can say red LED. Now also, if the values are greater than, if the threshold, if the sensor value is greater than high threshold value, that means this is the high threshold, which is 550. And if it is greater than 550, then only I'm turning on my buzzer. That means the pressure is too much or the force is too much. So that's how I am turning on LED and the buzzer. So this is the line of code that you need to write. I hope you understood the code. I have seen that so many of you are watching my videos and you are not subscribing to the channel. So please do subscribe the channel and like the video if you found this project useful for you. So now I have already uploaded this code to my Arduino. So now let's see the output on the screen. So if you found this project useful, then do subscribe the channel, like the video, press the bell icon and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.